This is our most convenient spot for cold water supply. We're gonna go ahead and just thread the hose bib supply type on and then push the black quarter inch tube into the quarter inch quick connect fitting, pulling on it, making sure it's secure, hand tightening, and then we'll be good to go to turn on the feed. Now I'm gonna connect my cold water supply into my first stage sediment filter. Again, just pushing into the quick connect fitting. I should feel it crunch past the O-ring. Install my new 100 gallon per day RO membrane by disconnecting the tube for the membrane housing. I'll buy myself a little bit extra space to work with. Unscrew the cap, careful not to lose the O-ring that's inside. Install the membrane double O-ring first. Push it in. Seal the cap back going clockwise with the threads and then reattach your quarter inch tube into the quick connect fitting on the cap. For this step, we're gonna remove the DI filter. This is an extra step, but something that will help the DI resin not exhaust prematurely from the preservative that's rinsed off the RO membrane. We put the clear canister back empty and we allow the system to produce water for about one or two gallons. Ideally, you're gonna measure the TDS and go ahead and reinstall the DI filter once the TDS is low. For some reasons, here's our tap water. I went ahead and hit hold on the TDS meter and got 143. Here's my membrane TDS. After about a minute or two of running, I'm down at nine parts per million. Uh, this number might have dropped even a little more if I had let it run for a few more minutes, but I just stopped at nine parts per million. I'm gonna now go ahead and reinstall my DI filter.